My name is Ron Bonica. I'm a distinguished engineer at Juniper Networks. In other videos, we've talked about segment routing and great abstractions. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about segment routing implementations. Segment routing can be instantiated over three forwarding planes, SRMPLS, SRV6, and SRV6+. In SRMPLS, segment routing leverages a multi-protocol label switching, MPLS, forwarding plane. So, how does SRMPLS work? Let's assume for a minute we have a segment routing path that contains three segments. The ingress node prepends three MPLS labels to a packet. One label represents each segment. It sends the packet into the path. The transit router processes the outermost label and pops it, and then sends the packet to the second segment endpoint. It processes the outermost label and pops it. And finally, we send the packet to the segment egress node. SRMPLS can be deployed over an IPv4 only backbone, an IPv6 only backbone, or a dual stack backbone. All you need to signal SRMPLS is an IGP, IS to IS or OSPF. Let's talk about how SRV6 works. A segment ingress node receives a packet. The packet can be IPv4, or IPv6, it can be ethernet. It encapsulates the packet and an IPv6 header and a routing header. And the routing header is called a segment routing header. Segment list is a list of segment egress nodes. It is nodes that the packet must visit on the way to its destination. Segments left is an index into the segment list. So, the ingress node receives a packet. It encapsulates the packet in an IPv6 header and in a segment routing header and the destination address of the IPv6 header is the first segment endpoint. It forwards the packet to the first segment endpoint. The first segment endpoint looks at the segment left field. Its value is greater than zero, so it hasn't reached its destination yet. It copies the member of the segment list that is indexed by segments left to the IPv6 destination address, and then it forwards the packet the packet arrives at the second segment egress node. The second segment egress node does exactly the same thing that the first did. It looks at the segment's left field. Its value is greater than zero, so it copies the member of the segment list that is indexed by segments left to the IPv6 destination address and forwards the packet to the next endpoint. The next endpoint interrogates the segment's left field. This time, Segments left is equal to zero, so we've reached the endpoint. The final instruction says, de-encapsulate this packet. Re-expose the initial packet, the payload packet that was received by the segment ingress. And that final instruction informs the segment egress node how to dispose of the packet. Now, finally, let's compare SRV6 to SRV6+. In SRV6+, the ingress node receives a packet exactly the way we did in SRV6. It encapsulates the payload in an IPv6 header, and that IPv6 header can have one or two extension headers. It's a two-byte value. That two-byte value is the key to a table. It does a lookup in that table to find the IPv6 address of the next segment endpoint. It copies that address to the destination address of the IPv6 header and forwards the packet. The benefits of SRV6 Plus. First, the compressed routing header is much shorter than the segment routing header. In the segment routing header, every segment identifier is 16 bytes long. If you have a path that has three, four, five segments in it, that means the segment routing header can become very long, whereas the compressed routing header remains a, an acceptable size. The second benefit is that you decouple the topological instructions that get the packet from its ingress to its egress with that final instruction that tells the egress node how to dispose of the packet once it's received it. In summary, the three forwarding planes are SRMPLS, SRV6, SRV6+. In SRMPLS, each segment is encoded as a member of an MPLS label stack. In SRV6, each segment is encoded by 
a member of a segment list in a segment routing header. In SRV6+, every segment is encoded as a member of a segment list in a compressed routing header. Thank you for watching, and for more information, check out our website at juniper.net forward slash sr.